subtracting integers. I hope that after doing adding integers and comparing that with subtracting integers, you're going to see that the hard part is over, that subtracting integers is going to be basically a lot like adding integers. Addition and subtraction are inverse operations. So what in kind of some plain words that means they undo each other. I start with 12. I subtract 2 from that. I get 10. Well, how do I get back to 12? I add 2. Negative 2 and positive 2, they undo each other. And as we saw in adding integers, they're called um, additive inverses. They are opposites of each other. They become a zero pair. So instead of subtracting, really you just add its opposite. You add that second number's opposite. Whatever it is that you're subtracting. If I am subtracting 2 from something, I'm really adding 2. If I am subtracting a negative 5, I'm really adding its opposite. I'm adding a positive 5. So, something like 5 minus 9. Before, when you saw that, you said, oh wait, I can't do that because I cannot take away more than what I already have. Well, now you're going to have that skill in your toolbox where you really can subtract more than what you started with. So, 5 minus 9, that really means 5 plus negative 9. I'm adding the opposite of 9, which is negative 9. Something that looks crazy like this, negative 9 minus negative 2. Well, I'm going to add its opposite. So instead of subtracting, I'm adding it. The opposite of negative 2 is a positive 2. So that what that really means is negative 9 plus 2. A little phrase that kind of helps us remember this is keep change change. So what do you do with that? Step one, you're going to keep that first number. So if my problem is 4 minus I'm going to keep that first number. Step two, I'm going to change subtraction to addition. Well, since you're going to have this on your paper, you can just put a little line right there. Now my subtraction sign looks like an addition sign. And then third step is I'm going to change the second number to its opposite. What's the opposite of six? Negative six. No need to rewrite the problem. You can just work at it from there. 4 plus negative 6, and you already know how to add integers. Since they have different signs, I have a positive and a negative, I'm going to take the difference. The difference between 4 and 6 is 2. And then I have a sign more. There's more negatives than there are positives, so the answer is negative 2. Let's practice these. You take a stab at these on your own, pause the video, and then push play when you're ready to compare what I did. Let's see how you did. I started with 5 minus negative 2. Keep 5, change subtraction to addition, change negative 2 to its opposite, which is a positive 2. Reread it, 5 plus positive 2. That's a lot easier, 7. Question B, negative 3 minus 7. I keep negative 3, change subtraction to addition, and change 7 to its opposite, negative 7. Negative 3 plus negative 7, same sign, so I do the sum of its absolute values. 3 and 7 is 10, and I keep that sign, so it's a negative 10. 10 minus 4. Now wait, you might have remembered, hey, this is just like subtraction I did in second grade, and you said 10 minus 4, that's 6. But since you're kind of in that mode of the keep, change, change, it still works. I keep 10, I change subtraction to addition, and I change 4 to a negative 4, it's opposite. Different signs, the difference between 10 and 4 is 6. More positives than negatives, so it's a positive 6. And the last one, negative 1 minus negative 8. Keep negative 1, change subtraction to addition, change negative 8 to its opposite, 
which is a positive 8. Reread it as negative 1 plus positive 8. Different signs, negative positive, so I take the difference of those two, which is 7, and there's more positives than negatives, so my answer is 7.